So I can't believe it. I have to apologise. It was early Sunday and I accidentally edited something out about deleting Shader to Catch. So everything is correct in the first part of the video. In this part, there was just something that, I don't know, accidentally edited out. So let's get to it. So if you remember, uh, in order to clear your shader cache, go to your NVIDIA control panel and then disable the shader cache. Once you've done that, uh, press apply, restart your PC. Once you've restarted your PC, I will put the locations to the shader cache folders in the description clear the insides of these folders out both of them the insides of the folders not the folders themselves but what's inside of them once you've done that then open disk cleanup make sure that you have direct x shader cache highlight the direct x shader cache and press uh, ok and it will delete everything there and then once that's done you can now go back into shader cache and re-enable it Sweet spot is 10 gig, select 10 gig and click apply. Job done. And just remember to delete your rolling cache.ccc folder, uh, which again, I will put the description of in this one. It is in the first video, but I put it again in this one of where the rolling cache.cc folder is. Then restart your PC again, start fly sim, hope you fix everything. See you later, bye.